Hello, welcome to the third video tutorial on electricity and electronics. The topics covered in previous video are In this video, we will see behavior of electricity and solids and about semiconductors and details. Types of solids According to conductivity, the solids can be divided into three categories, namely, insulators, conductors, and semiconductors. The insulators do not have current carrying capacity. Hence, they do not allow current flow through them. Examples are wood and glass. The conductors have very good conductivity. Hence, they always allow current flow through them. Examples are copper and stainless steel. The conductivity of semiconductor material lies in between insulators and conductors. Hence, they allow small current flow through them. Examples are silicon and germanium. The solids can also be categorized according to three electrical properties. Let us see those properties in details. Electrical properties of solids. Resistivity. Resistivity defines how strongly a material opposes the flow of electric current. It is denoted with letter Rho. Mathematically, resistivity is defined as R into A divided by L. Where R is resistance of material, A is cross sectional area, and L is length of piece of material. The unit of resistivity is ohm meter. The resistivity is opposite of conductivity, which is denoted as sigma. The resistivity of some materials is shown in table. The second property is temperature coefficient of resistance. The resistance of good electrical conductors changes with temperature. This variation is expressed in terms of temperature coefficient of resistance. By definition, it is change in resistance, per degree change in temperature. It is denoted as alpha. Mathematically, it is expressed as the unit of temperature coefficient of resistance is per degree Celsius. The temperature coefficient of resistance is positive or negative. In PTC, the resistance is directly proportional to temperature. And, in MTC it is inversely proportional. The third property is density of charge carriers. Here charge carrier means electrons or ions or holes. These are free to move and carries electric charge. By definition, it is number of charge carriers present per volume. It is denoted as N and measured in per meter cube. In conductors carrier density is higher than semiconductors. Energy band theory. The classification of solids can also be based on energy band diagram. Recalling the concept of atomic model, where each orbit has fixed amount of energy associated with it. The concept is for larger orbit, greater energy, and for smaller orbit, lower energy. The energies of different orbits represent different energy levels. Hence, an atom have range of energies that are represented as a single energy, called as energy band. Energy band can also be defined as range of energies associated with an electron in an atom of solid. To represent energy levels in an atom, an easy way is used called as energy band diagram. Out of many energy bands, most important are valence band, conduction band, and forbidden band or forbidden gap. By definition, these bands can be arranged in graphical form as let us see these bands in detail. Outermost orbit electrons in an atom are valence electrons. These electrons present in valence band. This band has highest energy, hence it is partially or completely filled. Free electrons in an atom are conduction electrons. 
these electrons present in conduction band. This band is either partially or completely empty. An empty conduction band results in very high resistance. Hence, no current conduction. The increase in forbidden gap reduces number of free electrons, which results in more tight bonding between valence electrons and nucleus of an atom. Forbidden gap defines the energy required to send electrons from valence band to conduction band. The solids can also be classified on the basis of energy band diagram. The different energy bands for types of solids are in case of conductors, because of overlapping of conduction and valence bands, forbidden gap does not exist. Hence conductors have very high conductivity. In case of semiconductors, the conductivity is low as compared to conductors. Hence, very small forbidden gap exists. In case of insulators, as there is no conductivity, Forbidden gap is much higher as compared to semiconductors. The forbidden gap is measured with a unit called electron volt. It is also an energy of electron measured in EV, which is equivalent to 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules. Need of semiconductors The question arises, why semiconductors are used instead of conductors? This question can be answered with three properties. Resistivity of semiconductors is higher than conductor. The semiconductors are preferred because their electrical properties can be easily controlled as compared to conductor. Semiconductors have negative temperature coefficient. The conductivity of semiconductors can be changed by adding in suitable impurity. Later on, this property will be explained in detail. The examples of semiconductors are Commonly used semiconductors are silicon and germanium. Let us see crystalline structure of commonly used semiconductors. Crystalline structure of semiconductors Here, crystal means an orderly arrangement atoms in a substance. Germanium is an earth element with atomic number 32. Since it has four electrons in its outermost orbit, it is called as tetravalent element. Silicon is another generally used semiconductor with atomic number 14. Since it has four electrons in its outermost orbit, it is called as tetravalent element. Semiconductors and Covalent Bonds Before going into the structure of semiconductor material, let us see one important concept called covalent bond. The reason behind bonding is to become stable. An atom has tendency to have eight valence electrons in its outermost orbit. This forces atom to share electrons with other atoms by forming a bond. Called as covalent bond. Let us look at the process where atom make itself stable by having eight electrons in last orbit. Consider one germanium atom. And single germanium atom has already four valence electron and requires another four to become stable. These required four electrons are shared by neighboring atoms. This sharing is also done by other atoms with their neighboring atoms forming a covalent bond. Let us see further process and details. Now, as germanium has negative temperature coefficient, increases in temperature will increase its heat energy. The electron absorbs this energy and breaks covalent bond. The empty circle created is called as whole. It is considered as a positively charged. Hence negatively charged electrons will get attracted to these holes. This process will be continued in random manner. Types of semiconductors There are two types of semiconductors, intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors. Pure form of semiconductors are called intrinsic semiconductors. While semiconductors which needs an impurity to improve its conductivity are called as extrinsic semiconductors. Let's see these types and details. Intrinsic is pure form of semiconductors. It has lower conductivity. An equal number of electrons and holes. 
Examples are germanium and silicon. Adding an impurity in intrinsic semiconductor results in extrinsic semiconductor. It has higher conductivity with unequal number of electrons and holes. Process of adding an impurity is called as doping. Mostly 10 raised to 7 or 8 atoms of impurity are added to the semiconductor to increase the conductivity. Types of extrinsic semiconductors According to impurity or dopant added, there are two types of extrinsic semiconductors. N-type semiconductors are formed by adding pentavalent impurity and P-type semiconductors by adding trivalent impurity. Let us see these types in detail. In N-type, adding 5 electrons in already 4 valence electrons of commonly used semiconductors will result in one free electron. This electron can be donated to other atom. This makes pentavalent impurity, called as donor impurity. In P-type, adding 3 electrons in already 4 valence electrons of commonly used semiconductors will require in one more electron to get atom in stable state. This electron can be accepted from other atom. This makes trivalent impurity, called as acceptor impurity. Let us see examples of commonly used doping elements. Commonly used dopants are either trivalent or pentavalent or both are used to increase the conductivity. Comparison of silicon and germanium. Let us compare commonly used semiconductors. Silicon and germanium. Beck has of high electron mobility. Operating temperature range, resistivity. Silicon is mostly used. Thank you for watching the video. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe this channel. You may contact at email ID mentioned here. Stay connected. Goodbye.